One specimen that's frozen in time, and, and all these characters are there. Jörn and the team are getting closer to proving that Ida is the ancestor of all monkeys, apes and humans. But they need to find final proof of that in her skeleton. Lucy's pelvis gave Johansson the proof of an ape man. Finding an equivalent bone to link Ida to us is much more difficult. 3.2 million years of evolution separate us from Lucy, but 47 million separate us from Ida. That's an immense length of time. Jörn and the team start scrutinizing every inch of Ida's body, when suddenly they are distracted by something that tells them not about our evolutionary story, but about her personal story. Dr. Jens Fransen was analyzing Ida's wrist when he noticed something that suggests she may have suffered an injury in her young life. Suddenly I saw the small fragments of bone and this fine structure on the surface, uh, which is typical for bone. And so yeah. it was like a lightning at that <laughs> moment. And I, ah, yes. But really here, it's, it's really possible to see it because the bone is in small, small pieces yeah. uh, fused together yeah. at the end of the wrist. Yes. It's, it's, yeah. it, it, it's, not an, it's not a nodule. It's not something that was formed after the animal was dead. Right. This, this, this right. is something that happened to her while she was still alive. What Jens found in the wrist is uh, it's, it's quite amazing because uh, it looks like uh, the wrist here is broken and it's partly healed again. And when it healed, it, it, it was a lot of new bone forming on top of the joint for the, for the hand. So her right hand was not functioning very well after this accident. Research on her bones has thrown up a tragic surprise. The lump on her right wrist shows that she broke it very badly early in her life. Maybe she was dropped by her mother. The wrist continued to grow, but it was badly deformed. Her hand didn't work well, and the team believes she might not have been able to climb properly. She was probably forced to forage for food on the ground. And tragically for the injured Ida, the volcanic forces that formed the Messel Lake were still active. They played a crucial role in her demise. The still waters of the lake were often covered by a low-lying blanket of gas, a poisonous but undetectable layer of carbon dioxide seeping from the ground. She was thirsty and uh, so she went uh, to the lake shore and uh, trying to drink there. Not realizing that this was a bad day for her because at that day there was such a poisonous uh, gas layer which had developed uh, and uh, so she must have lost immediately consciousness and then she fell into the water and she drowned. Sinking quickly through the waters, she slid into the mud deep below the surface, where she lay for 47 million years. The bone in Ida's wrist have given the team an extraordinary personal story to Ida's death. But they're still looking for a bone to link her with us. They have exhaustively studied her skeleton throughout a long investigation. They're hoping she might be linked to our own ancestral line. 
it's been a long journey describing this fossil uh, from the start where where we all really believed strongly that she's a fantastic fossil but she's related to lemurs until we now after unwinding one character after the other finding that this doesn't fit this doesn't fit this is something else um, and looking at it now it, it looks so much more exciting even than a complete lemur this is something much more uh, important also for our own uh, evolution. Jörn and the team still need to find that one conclusive piece of evidence that will allow them to be sure that she is our relative. It's only after two years of work that they make a startling new discovery. He of course it shows this really well that this is even shorter. There is a bone in Ida's foot that links her with every person on the planet. It could be the evidence that the first small adaptations towards walking upright happened 47 million years ago. The ankle bone, the so-called talus in the mesoprimate, shows exactly uh, the evidence uh, which we see still in ourselves, in human beings of today. Except that, of course, our bones are much bigger, bigger now but they show the same kind of articulation. Yeah? A tiny bone in her ankle, the talus, is shaped like that of a modern human. It is critical in connecting the leg to the foot and is key for bearing weight. This is crucial in making it possible to walk upright. Its shape is restricted to monkeys, apes and humans. The lemurs and the other prosimians have a bone of a completely different shape. The shape of this bone tells something about the movement of the foot. And the movement of the foot of primates is quite different in different groups. And, and this particular shape on the talus bone, it's very, very much like humans. This shaped foot bone makes Ida one of us, our 47 million year old relative. We are really dealing with a very, very early root of anthropoids at Meso. Yeah? Ida comes from a crucial point in our evolution, when the early primates split into the human and non-human groups. She is a fusion of both. She is a transitional species, a link that is now no longer missing. It tells a part of our evolution that's been hidden so far. It's been hidden because all the other specimens are so incomplete. They're so broken, there's nothing almost to study. And now this wonderful fossil appears and it makes the story so much easier to tell. Uh, and so it's really a dream come true. We could all be descended from Ida. Jörn and his team believe they have discovered our earliest complete primate ancestor. And remarkably, exactly 150 years after Darwin put forward the proposition that human beings were part of the rest of animal life, here at last we have a link which connects us with not only the apes and monkeys, but also with the entire animal kingdom. This fossil turns out to be really important for us as humans. This fossil is really a part of our history, truly a fossil that's a world heritage. This is the first link to human evolution. Long before we started to divide into different ethnic groups, the find like this is something for all humankind. Fossil, and to further explore the world of science and nature, go to the website at bbc.co.uk slash science. People 
see Tourette's swearing. Oh, Dottie. Oh, you all right? But that's not all that we do.